y'all, if y'all thought we heard some heat on Aquemini, we just we're gonna continue hearing more heat. We got. I just Outkast. want to get to the first song. I I just want to do something. But go ahead. <laughs> All right, I got you, but we got Outkast's fourth album, Stankonia. It released October 31st, 2000, and I think this is the one album that got them that number one. Um, Wait, and got who am I? Who am I? Miami. <laughs> that is Dre. Yes, sir. That is Dre. That, <laughs> that shit. Bro, that, that album cover, bro. It's fire. It. It's fire. fire. Wait, he has shirt on. Hold on. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. But yeah, uh... <laughs> oh no, bro! You gotta keep the beanie on, bro. True, true. Beanie is prime Jalen. But yeah, <laughs> so um, you know, of course, we're nerds, bro. We love album art. So first album, you got, you know, you got them looking at you. But then next two is, you know, it's animated a bit, it's drawn. And then now we got them back in the flesh again, sir. And they they stand in front of some, you know, black and white stripes or America. I forgot. America. It is fire. It's the American flag with the black and white. Yeah, it's fire. All right, so. Uh, hey Siri, what does the black and white American hey, bro, flag mean? I'm so mean? proud of him. Look at him, bro. He got Siri and shit. Look at him, bro. Fuck, man. Hey, yo, she's slow as shit. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> 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 bro, that's me every day at school, bro. Hey, yo, bro, that's me every day at school, bro. Um, but yo, let's let's hop into it because there's 24 tracks on here, which you know, fair, there's a fair amount of interludes. Yeah. About like. You know, eight ish like that, six yeah. and you know, actual tracks. But uh let's get into it. This one is very, very, very good flowing album. So the intro, title intro. Why does niggas keep um, moaning on tracks, bro? I don't know. There, there's moaning, they're trying <laughs> to get you into the funk, bro. Um it's funk. It's, it's, it's a little this ain't funky. funk. This is rock. <laughs> it's funk rock, bro. That's 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 what the album pretty much is. Funk rock. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, then track two. All right, 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 bro, all right, all right, listen, all right. My first listen of Gasoline right. Dreams, I was like, this is different, and it's I like it. But then when I listened to it a second time, a couple hours later, I was like, yeah, <laughs> bro, that I was like, that, yeah, bro. When it starts, it was, all right, all right, all right, all right. Like, it, all right. Just, it just hits you it's like, it so does. this is that type of album, huh? <laughs> so it was, so we it, gonna do this. Tyler's Def Camp reminds me of this. This this is this is very good analogy. Yes, like I kind of feel like it's heavily influenced because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure before this, it, I mean, niggas wasn't taking rock no, influences no, from this. No, Most you got from all. now, probably like California Love. But even then, I was more wrapped in rock. But uh, 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 debatable. But still, this song, fire. Do everybody like the smell of gasoline? Burn, burn, burn baby, burn. Da, 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 da. That's I'm fire. Pretty sure I heard the song somewhere before. Yeah, agreed, agreed. But yo, bro, the energy on here, like you said, it's it's infectious, right? Yes. And it grows on you. And and the way Dre's come in, right? He's like, like all my heroes did dope. Uh, every everyone, you know, everyone around me playing married or, or paying child support, I can't cope. Fire. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my yeah, bro. And also, I was like, yo, how is Big Boy gonna sound on this track? But his delivery, that shit's on ten. That shit is amazing. <laughs> you know. Message about bel- police brutality, and then you know, Cool Joe, he's always cool. Uh, he's always cool. His name's not Cool Joe, it's Cool Joe. I know so your I joke know. wasn't funny. I, kn- I it was <laughs> supposed to be a joke. <laughs> so, why do you do it? Uh-huh. Because I just realized it, but yeah, uh-huh. 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 shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna just stop talking. You guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I love this song, you know, like I said, Def Camp reminds me of this Bitch. song. You know, that, that electric guitar is, is sex, bro. Bro, I've been trying sex. to tell you, bro, electric guitar is con- is consistently sex. It unless someone just plays it. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you finally get it! But yeah, <laughs> like, god damn, bitch, I've been trying to tell you. Uh, but yeah, agreed. Great. There's nothing more to say. This is this is a great song. It's fire. Um, track three. I'm cool. Ain't nobody can let it. Oh uh, wait, it's the interlude first. No, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's an interlude. So we got I'm cool. Um, so kind of like it, it like you can think about it like cooling you down, but basically it, it, there's just a girl going through her man's like coke, cocaine, and just like. She she high as shit. Next topic is. I'm just so fresh. So fresh so clean, clean. But yeah, if you yo, haven't heard this song, you're lying. Go. 
Yeah, go no. listen. You've heard this song before. I can yeah. guarantee. If yeah. you haven't, then you probably live in Wyoming, okay? For real, for real. Which if you doesn't exist. You, li- <laughs> <laughs> Which, well, <laughs> you live with Kanye in Wyoming. He doesn't but, live um, in Wyoming. Where do you live? In nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. I, all right. Kanye, my fault. This, this, this ain't me. This is him. But... Crazy, bro. Song, if you bro. if you want to hear this song, you live with Patrick <laughs> fucking Star because this shit is because he lives amazing. under a rock. <laughs> I get I'm it. It's just myself. Oh yes, man, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yo, Jalen, Jalen, you you oh, no no no, Jalen, do you want to cover so fresh so clean? Or you want to cover? Yeah, Jackson? bro. I used to, both. Uh, oh, I used both? to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got so fresh so clean yourself, right? I so, uh, used to sing this song classic when I used to get out the tub as a kid. <laughs> like legit <laughs> cause you're clean so like legit I will get at the tub and I'd be like so fresh and so clean clean and I will just say that since I got at the tub mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and my mm-hmm. sisters would laugh but like not like they're not laughing at me they're laughing like oh it's cute you know and they still remember it so fresh and so clean clean but 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 yeah you know this is a classic song classic 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 bro blast this shit at your fucking car wash dealership. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that that would happen in a movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has. Me in the hood, just, bl- just blast at a car wash. But yeah. Um, but no also, money. there's there's a line here from Dre that I just want to mention throwing there. Um, he goes like, uh, I love who you are. I love who you ain't. You're so Anne Frank. Like, you know, she Frank, but you know, I Anne Frank. It. Let... So, man... I was trying to be cool, man. My but yeah, <laughs> you're so Aunt, yeah, bro. So you're so Anne Frank. Let's hit the attic to hide out for about two weeks. That's fire. That's cool. It's kind of fucked up, but yeah, it's fire. It's fire. That's the thing. It's fucked yeah. up. But it's cool. Yes, sir. Um, very very funny stuff there. At least to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then now we are. This is a classic, right? Yes. So moving on, another classic. Back to back. Another classics. one. Back to back. If uh, track you do five. not know this song, you are stupid and uncultured. <laughs> stupid. Yes. Uncultured bro, swine. Bro, how have you not like, like a couple years ago? I always because when I first figured out that Outcast made Jackson. this song, because I've always heard this song and I was like, it's fire. Yeah. Amazing song. It's also a very good story. It's a very good story. Classic song. You know, it's the baby's mama's mama's song. Talking about how difficult it can be. Yeah, baby mama mama's. How difficult it can be. Forever. um, Ever, to try to forever, care for your kid why, when forever, that kid was made out of, you know, forever, ever, forever, it wasn't really ever. together like that. And now they got paying child support and the mom's kicking the guy out. They're both of them, you know, kind of felt that pain. Big boy, definitely. And um, my fault. I was trying to shoot. Damn. Um, right. Nothing. Good. You didn't catch it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah. So I, I just thought it's really dope. And then, of course, it, you got the forever, ever, forever, ever. ever? ever? Forever, you miss you ever? missed it forever. Okay, it's forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Anyway. Yeah, my, uh, my culture. I'm but cool. yeah, like Nunez said, yep. this song is about past yes, sir. uh about their past relationships and they're basically apologizing to the baby mama's mamas, you know? It's like, God damn, I fucked up. Is it my no. fault? You know? Yeah, that, Me yeah. and your daughter. And got a special thing going on. Going on. And you said it's puppy love. love. We said it's full grown. grown. Yo, man, we feel oh, Yeah. So it's, it's, it's just it's a classic song. Both of these back to back, so fresh, so clean. Miss Jackson. Predict. Those are te- those are easy ten pluses. Back to back. By the way, yeah. Uh, when Erica so. Badu first heard this song, uh, she didn't like Big Boy's verse because you know she still had a sore spot. But when Andre came on, she was like, oh. I like this, you know, he's being honest, he's being like emotionally vulnerable, I understand, I like it. And Erica Badu's mom was a super fan of the song. Uh, according oh. to Erica Badu, in some interview, uh, her mom got a Miss Jackson headband, Miss Jackson license plate, a pen, a sign awesome. thing. But yeah, she was a huge fan of it, but yeah. it's a fire song. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, I am for oh, real. Now I'm I just had to hear us harmonize. We apologize. 
We apologize to Trillion Times. We sorry. Hootie hoo. Uh, I don't apologize for shit. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's that Delco shit. Uh, yeah, Delco. Track six. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Track six. Snapping and trapping. We got a young Killer Mike here. Yo. Also, Yo. we got Jay Sweet. Killer Mike on this song? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. That's it, bro. His flow and like... Oh man, bro, his voice that shit is that shit is authoritarian. Fire. I still gotta listen to Run the Jewels, it's like him Agreed. and some other boys' albums. It's like four installations. Agreed. Yeah, th- there is apparently, apparently, there's some really good shit there. And hey, I, I, I hear it. Let, let's um, let's look at it one day, yes, sir. But yeah, so you know, like we said, Killer Mike, you know, one half of Run the Jewels, the beat's really quirky. <laughs> the beat, yeah. the, the, just that, that sense, Bro, that sense a little interesting. That little alien sound scared the yeah. shit out of me when the song first came <laughs> on. <laughs> Jello was like, God damn, they're outside my door. <laughs> I'm like, it's finally <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> it should not again. I don't want to be <laughs> But uh bro, Killer Mike's one liners here, bro. Like he just two I really like. Guaranteed to get more cut than a barber. Um and then banana people need to split. I just like it. It's I got very a whole, satisfying. I got a whole oh, stanza God. here. I don't know what oh, the fuck God. to call it. Uh it was like I bet so I drill your heifer like black and decker, the pussy wrecker and white water couldn't oh, yeah. get it wetter. I'm guaranteed to never switch cheese for more cheddar. I give a fuck sway bucks and coochie sweaters. What up? Whatever, sable fur to lamb leather. Oh man, Killer Mike Damn. is switch, Killer Mike is a switch. killer. He, he is a killer for sure. On the mic, oh, bro. Crazy. God damn it. Yeah, and then you know, Big Boy also has some cool shit here. You know, Big Boy's like, you know, I don't stop for squares or octagons. Prepare, I'm not the one you scared. The Piccolo Pimp done set up shop. He said Piccolo uh, Pimp? Yeah, that's what he said. The like, Piccolo like Pimp. Like the instrument or the nigga from Dragon Ball? I don't know. That just made me happy though. <laughs> I'm going to guess the pink, like the instrument. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then he goes, you know, you pop lock for pop rocks, but I'm only popping tweeters. Like, that's hot. What's a tweeter? Um, it's, a, it's a dance move. No. Oh. It's some shit you do in the club. And then, you know, you, you, know, you tweet, pop tweet. lock I'm for sorry. pop rocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is some, there's some fire shit in Bro, also, there was some funny ass shit here. So, Big Boy was like, you know, um... He was just like, yo, you're terrible. Like, this happened in your life. Like, you're not. Your clock stopped. And now you're laying in a pretty box. And now pastor's only talking about the pretty parts of your life. Your brother fucking your damn wife. You look for the pearly white gates, but you realize your fate is too late because you hate, you hate. I'm like, bro, Jesus. brother fucking your wife? Oh, nigga. Killer Mike is hungry, bro. <laughs> that shit is hilarious, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was cackling, bro. I was like, damn. It's like that. I'm going to be honest, bro. I think Killer Mike outshined Big Boy on this song. This song. I'm gonna be honest. I hear what you're saying, bro. I hear what you're saying, but I still think, I think, I think that youthful energy was really good. It was, it was it, great. They're both young, obviously, but like, of course, you know, Killer Mike trying, you know, make a real, real name right now. Yes, sir. That, that shit was like, great. Ugh. I didn't. I said yes, sir, not hey Siri, you retard. <laughs> Don't use that word, bro. My Chill. Fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still training him, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that was um the one John, the uh the snapping and trapping. But uh just to mention, you know, J Sweat was cool. Um uh, J Sweat's part makes me want to run outside naked. Is it J Sweat fire. or J Sweet? J Sweet, my fault, damn. <laughs> but yeah, J Sweet makes me want to run outside naked. It's good. That tells you everything. So now we have. That. Uh, I think I'm on a Twitch stream. Why would it broke to me? <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> Next we have the interlude DF. Um, it's really I like it. It's cool. Big uh, three stacks and big boy. They just like flaunting their outrageous, you know, nicknames. Daddy fat stacks. Daddy fat stacks. Lucius, uh, Lucius what? Lucius toes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit. But oh. <laughs> Moving on track eight, I really fuck with the song Spaghetti Junction. Really, bro, I feel like Dre was spitting heat. Yeah, it was it was dope. He got a bar. He was like, "Y'all to be ashamed trying to fit in my Adidas." From like DMC is me and no, don't got no heater. I thought yep. that was pretty dope because you know, around yep. DMC was like my uh Adidas. That song, mm-hmm. you know, they yeah. were one of the first rap. I think they were the first rap group to actually get like endorsed by a brand, which was Adidas. Yeah. But I thought that I thought the bar was dope, but that's really it about the song, you know. It's 
It's cool. I, I, thought, I, it's, I hear you. I thought there was some cool stuff coming in too. But right when Dre hopped on, he was like, yo, you know, like y'all elope with ski slopes and fall like avalanches tooting like it's cool. He's a fool. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Because avalanche, you're going to get swept up in that. You're being stupid. You, you thought you could rhyme when you slopes. said that's pretty cool after you said fool? Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, my fault. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, whore. And bro, I think the, the transitions are smooth. I just, I, I love when Dre, Dre and Big Boy just, you know, just like hop, hop, hop. Like you just toss it back and forth like a, like a, like a potato. It's just fire. Um, and and Big Boy, Big Boy got that giddy up, bro, and his flow, bro. It's it's, it's crazy. I mess with it. I'm sorry, Mr. And then Jackson. Sleepy Brown on the court. That's not the song. Sleepy I'm Brown on the court. <laughs> Bro, Sleepy Brown's always fire, bro. So Sleepy yeah. Brown make me wanna. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> You're getting it, yo. He's fight, bro. I've been trying to train him. It's working. We caught this nigga in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We got him, boys. Target acquired. All right. Bro, I'm going now dark. we have a. <laughs> now we have track nine. Kim and Cookie, another interlude where a girl's. Um, she ran into a minute man, and no, we're not talking about no revolutionary war minute man. We talking you, about he was in and out. We talking about he was in and I out. I don't want to laugh at that joke, bro. <laughs> I don't. You want to? I don't, bro. Like, <laughs> oh my god. But track ten, track ten is sexy. I'll call before I come. Really? <laughs> No, it's not sexy. I'm about to say you like this song. <laughs> I'm like, where's Kelvin at? <laughs> no, I'll call before I'll call before I come. I, th- I just think it's funny, bro. Uh, my, my first you know, note feels, is what it, is this, It's bro? pretty funny. It feels like Tyler, bro. No, it doesn't. It, it's, it does, no, it bro. doesn't, bro. <laughs> it's like something Tyler would have made for fun. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Tyler would have made this, bro. Bro, it's this hey, bro, song. The, beat, is... the beat's like a field of flowers, bro. It, I said the beat. It reminds me of bubblegum. Like, this just reminds me of bubblegum. Like the yeah. F- fucking gum. Yeah, like Tyler, bro. Tyler would have made his drum. And like, Black boy, Def would have made his drum. I guess not really, but <laughs> Gangsta Boo's verse. Okay, maybe, maybe. Her verse is dope. Yeah, his verse is dope. Yeah. And yeah. Meg, it really reminds me of Megan. You know the stallion. Mm-hmm. Body yadi, but yeah, like hear her God, flow and like her delivery <laughs> and whatnot. It just reminds me yeah. of Megan. And you know, I, I like to think that Megan got some sort of influence from her. Who, by the way, Gangsta Boo was also part of Three Six Mafia at some point. Cool, cool. Uh, but they, she left the group after some money issued or something. But she joined back later. But point is, her verse, her, her verse is dope. But besides that, the song was all right, I guess. Okay, bro. I I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. Um, I really like the experimentation. This joint could go. It, it could go in a playlist for me. Like really fun music. I will put it in there. <laughs> Jalen hurt, right, bro. <laughs> yeah. But bro, track eleven bombs over back That shit is fine. And that's true. That's fine, man. And that's the down. You know, it's a, it's a commentary. You know, on the condition of the ghetto. But it's fire. There's a, there's, you know, it's, a pounding, yeah. it's a pounding. It's a pounding banger, bro. Like I love it. Uh, um, Dre's, you know, Dre has some lines. Consequences are are given for living. The fences too high to jump in jail. <laughs> too low to dig i might just touch hell hot uh get a life now they on sale you know get a life now they on sale that, that get a life get a life like get a life and also now they on sale like bro we see how people be popping out babies bro that shit yo that shit yo you broken tall yeah all right they got babies everybody gets so, an abortion nowadays oh god <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo you emotionally unstable i'm emotionally unstable let's fix each other let's have babies yeah so yeah, I just I thought that was fire, uh, bro. This song. Joint, for me, it's bop. It's bro. It's funky rock. It's just awesome. That electric guitar is sex, bro. Yes, bro. Yeah, Jalen, Jalen, you got this. And uh, Dre's, uh, I'm just gonna keep calling him standards. Uh, it's like okay. a scale Reverses. and some arm and hammer. Soul gold girl and her baby mama. Black Cadillac and a pack of Pampas. Sack of crushes with no answers. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Nice. Ugh. Nice. And you know, uh, big boys. And he was like, like that there, yeah, like, great. like that there, boy, and we'll stay street. Big things happen every time we meet, like a track team, crack fiend, dying the geek, outcast bumping up and down the street, slam back, kind of like about finding the geek, and five empty feet on the beat. Ah, man. Ah, god damn. That's it's like some of his best to date, bro. Bro, bro, big boy on this drone was like, I love like his progression Fire, last two like, albums because already. Could flow already had all that, but like 
his right. man just he's just different now. And to see him doing all these really funky weird ass shit on these beats, amazing. Big bo- give him his respect. The man deserves way more love. Facts. Um, yeah. Anything he was, else? From, he was uh, tweeting. I tweet. He was uh trending on Twitter like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Because niggas was, what was, what was underappreciating him. You know, what, yo? and it was that mean. It was like, oh, when when people think of outcast, and it's like it's just Andre or whatever. That's like, terrible. That's, that's nigga, terrible. Hey, nigga, it's not just Dre. I'm it's big not. boy. Did you not just hit a beat? I'm not the beat. The fucking <laughs> bar to spit, bro. Fire, bro. fire, bro. bro. Also, you know, there's some lines in here. Big boy's like, you know, make a fat diamond out of out of dusty coal. Record number four, but we on a roll. Oh wait, I'm so stupid. I'm stupid. Don't worry about that. So basically, before that, right? He's saying. Make a business for yourself, boy. Set some goals. Make a fat diamond out of dusty coal, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, he's trying to help you. And then it's also, like, he's saying some, some weird shit at the end. It's, it's, it's freaky. You <laughs> he say? says, pulling off my belt, call, f- pulling off my belt because a whipping's in order, like a three-piece fish before I cut your daughter. Yo quiero Taco Bell, then I hit the border. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> right? No, right? Well, how, how you go from, I feel like a Tyler bar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, low key. That's just funny. Bobby um, head, whack talk. Bobby head, whack talk. Bobby head, whack talk. Whack talk. But, uh, oh, music electric revival. But yeah, but, so that was track 11. So track 12, Explosion, featuring Be Real. Um, well, Be Real went in, bro. For real. I think it went in. Um, like this, this joint, the bass is very funky. Drums like are beat, energetic. Bro. I like yeah, the love the beat. And he got a he got a bar with like fuck double XL, your size too small. I should hire Eminem so we can kill you all. Bro, that shit you was live hot, to talk bro. shit about the real and kiss my ass in person, how much you let a hill. You know, mm-hmm. if you don't he's a member of Cypress Hill. At the time, uh Eminem and Cypress Hill, they had some beef with double XL. I'm assuming they said something bad about their music. And yeah. you know, it was like here, he's just like, Yo niggas, bro. I'm about to yeah. me, I'm about to team up with him. I'm about to kill y'all. For real, for real, for real. Eminem had a real good single at the time called Kill You. So I didn't know that. Don't kill you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, is that the shoot, one where bro. you said put a gerbil in your ass? Oh no, shove a gerbil in your ass. Bro. <laughs> that was like four or five years later. Oh my god. That was when he was like on that shit, bro. Shove a gerbil uh-huh. in your ass. Now that's yeah. an awfully hot coffee pot. So, <laughs> so yeah, Viral is awesome. He's like, I'm the bomb. Planted in your car while you frozen. Pop the tape in, uh, and ignite the explosion. Uh, the world is mine. The world is yours. The world is ours. The world is lost. The world is tossed. That's fire. Um, and also, big boy, bro, big boy was talking about. You know, I'm hitting. I'm hitting cleanup. I was like, that's tough. That is tough. Yes, sir. Um, so that just made me really happy. And you know, of course, Dre was had some fire shit. He said, you know, white blood cells to the common cold rebel. Uh, night gets jealous of day. Play is no longer. The feeling gets stronger than uh, Omnia sticks in hell. So basically, you know, he's like white blood cell. Like white people are trying to get the rebels, right? And then, you know, the night gets jealous of day. So True. we get jealous of, of, of the white people because they own that shit. And while we, we try to be nocturnal and try to hustle, they're not letting us. They're not going to let us either because what he said before, the white blood cells to the common rebel, cold rebel. They're going to they gonna hunt you down. Yes, sir. Eliminate you. So I love that. Uh, I, I I mess with this very good track. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, we going on track thirteen. We got good hair. It's a little interlude about hair. 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 So the girl acting like they like yo, you got good hair, and the girl's like, thank you, I'm a little Spanish. She like, oh, you're not Spanish. Hey, you know, I haven't gotten a haircut <laughs> since like 2019. That's funny. Bro, that's two years ago, bro. Uh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but yeah. Um that was cool. Uh so yo Jalen, I'm gonna need you to talk about track 14. I didn't like this song. We, talk we love these hoes featuring backboard. I was very close to skipping the song, I'm gonna be honest. Really? Yes. Bro, I thought this was funny. No. <laughs> it was for me, it's decent. It's funny. <laughs> no. And no okay. drain song either. That's true. You got backbone, big gip, and then Big boy talks about. Nah, I don't even uh, remember how the song went. To be honest, it's just like ha 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 ha. We love these whole song like that. Um, so yeah, so like for me, this is like they're like flexing and they're like sarcastically saying we love these hoes. They don't. They just don't. 
I like Backbone. Um, he says, you know, I stay G sharp as a note of music. Get call me fresh big bread and make it broad, lose it. That's all right, cool, cool. Um, and Big Gibbs just saying, you know, what's up? Don't let the broads use you. And yeah. So no. I thought I thought it was funny a little bit. Jalen's not happy. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then move on. Track 15. Humble Track 15 mumble. with the Queen. Jalen, I need you to carry this. I am going to take um absence. One minute. Don't worry, y'all. Damn, I got that for a minute. Uh, <laughs> Jalen, it's bro, humble mumble with the queen. Yeah, all right, all right, go ahead. All uh, right. so you know, we probably got to go take a shit. Um, yeah, this song was dope. Completely forgot how it went, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like Big Boy carried the song, Jay was cool, Erica Badu was cool, but I really feel like Big Boy carried the song. Uh, if I can find this bar real quick. Oh, yeah, he was like uh, back on the microphone, your number one controller. Rock the microphone like a blizzard. I'm so cold. I'm trying to, I tried to told you. Life is like a great big roller coaster. Everything in life don't always happen like it's supposed to. Trials and tribulations make you stronger. Live longer. You want to reach the nation, nigga, start from your corner. Thought that was dope. That bar, fire, man. But overall, you know, I think it's a cool song. I do had had some vocals and uh a verse on it, and Dre Dre's uh verse was cool and whatnot, you know. But you know it was it was all right. Um, you know I'm running out of things to talk about. Oh, he's Pussy. back. What's uh, up, y'all? <laughs> I, I really really like this song. Honestly, I thought really? it, was, it was a funky John. It, it was a little funny, and Dre and Erica harmonizing. I, I liked it a lot. I really liked it. I love the chorus. You know, humble as a mumble in the jungles of shouts and screams. That's the way the, the cracker crumbles. So I guess I've got to rewrap my dreams. Fire. And like you said, Big Boy was flowing here. Um, You know, he was like, fuck wishing. You missing the ambition on your mission. Now you switching while you quitting because it's heated in the kitchen. That's hot. Because it's like, why would you leave the kitchen? This is where you can make your dreams. This is where you can cook something up for yourself. Right? But you want to leave because it's competition because it's heated. I thought that was amazing. Um, so, yeah. And then th- there's also a beat switch. I felt like Dre was hitting that beat switch on his first verse. Um, and it's like blue, col- blue collar scholar, so take your dollar and wipe wipe my ass with it. You're living for the lotto, never hit it. It's like these white people just going to take your shit and not care. And you're going you're gonna to keep wishing, wistful, and you're not going to get what you want. Yep. And also, the, uh, bro, I think you, you missed Dre a little bit in the verse because... He, he was talking some really cool shit because he was saying, um, he was talking to this one girl and she was like, she said she thought hip hop was only guns and alcohol. And I said, oh, hell yeah, no. Yeah, she was and like, yeah. stop reading yeah. books or something. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I thought that shit was fire. And it's like, what if I looked at you in a microscope, saw all the door, little little dirty organism, or, organisms living in your closet? Would I stop and would I pause it? Woo. Um, is. Do you want to live or die, or do you want to live or want to exist? The game changes every day, so obsolete is the fist and marches speeches only reaches those who already know about it. This is how we go about it. That was fire because the the words that that they're trying to like push subconsciously or like they're trying to put through their music, which is still buried beneath you know some gangster stuff and some other stuff, is that you know, be yourself. You know, be yourself and like don't like don't conform around what's going on because that's this you know designed to keep you back. True. But I think it's really, really good message here, and it's fire. I think Erica singing is really nice. She gets, you know, she she hits some crazy notes. That's Queen, and yeah, Queen. That's the song actually, Queen. Uh, so that's track fifteen. Moving on to track sixteen, we got drinking again. Um, there's there's a really lonely horn here, which is really cool. The man's like he he's sad. Um, bro lost his job to a robot. That's <laughs> pretty funny. My fault. Um. But yeah, the thing I really like about this album, every interlude has it has some intent. It means a lot. I'm sorry. What song are we on? <laughs> we're on track 16. <laughs> we're on track six- Yeah, damn bitch. We're on track 16. I was texting where my this mom. man drinking. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. But yeah, and then track 17, you got question mark. Question mark. Or question, I don't know. Uh, Basically, this is like one of the few times or one of the only times I can remember where it's just Dre. Yeah. It's just Dre. Um, he's flowing. He's blazing, asking us questions like he's drilling us. And the answer to everything is... Alcohol. 
Alcohol, Alcohol is the reason for oh, most man. flaws in humanity. Uh, one of my Let's notes see. is uh, biblically, biblically, biblically accurate angel noises. Um, whatever oh. noises that were in the background, I found it very accurate to that meme. Uh, I found it very <laughs> similar to that meme. So I thought I thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's a dope song. You know, he's asking about asking questions like, hey. Why is this? Agreed. Why that? This, this, and that. Because y'all niggas is alcoholics. Ha, ha, ha. Agreed. Um, and then, moving on from there, Red Velvet. I thought Red Velvet was a really cool idea. Oh, yeah, I love that song. Um, yeah, I think Big Boy Big Boy hit an amazing flow, prioritized to live. Oh, yeah. To tell these other, uh, you, know, you know, how you brought your kids some tennis shoes. Let these brothers know that your mama, she got her house too. Like, like it's basically, don't brag. Because exactly. that shit will get you killed expeditiously in the hood. Exactly, right? And like the rest of his verse, we gotta let these brothers know that your mama got... Let these brothers know that your mama, she got her house too. Let these yep, niggas yep. know your sister wouldn't have finished college without you. Right, I doubt right. you do that, though. So do this here and keep that bullshit out of our ear. You know, it's like nobody cares about you flexing and flashing. For you real, feel for me? Real. You know, like talk like... Talk, talk about how you got your mom's house. You got her G-Wagon or whatever. Nobody cares that you got your, your 4PF chain or whatever the hell it's called from little baby. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, agreed. And also, you know, Dre, Dre, you know, while he was experimenting with some pitch, which was, you know, it was cool. Um, he says, you know, Bill Gates don't dangle diamonds in the face of peasants when he's Microsoft in the place. Yeah, true. You don't do that. Not you know, that's why Bill Gates still got shot. <laughs> khakis and polo shirts. For real. So yeah, and also I really like the bridge on this song, fire. For I don't know how it went, but I just remember I liked it. It's <laughs> pulling uh, a me. I'm pulling a Jalen. Uh, but moving on, track 19, cruising in the ATL, a little interlude. Cruising um, on the street in my six My fold. six fold. Jack and yeah. it's just slapping them all. Uh, it's a little common instrumental, and it's like some some nice vocals. It, it's pretty much you know reflecting the south side, a chill atmosphere of cruising in Atlanta. But then you get some. Thing that's not chill. Next song, 20, Gangsta Shit featuring Black-owned Seabone, Slim Calhoun, and Timo. Uh, Jay, what you think? I really like the, really the beat and guitars here, and I thought there was some there, there was some okay, solid stuff here from, uh, in terms of lyricism. I thought the beat was dope, yep. but besides that, nothing memorable, really. Not for me, that's, at least. That's, that's fair to say. That's fair to say. Um... I thought I thought I, I like the energy though a good amount and it's 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 not a song I put on a playlist, but yeah. like if I had to listen to it, I don't mind. Sure, like I like it enough. Um, moving on, track twenty one, toilet Tisha. I actually really like this song. Me too. I really like this song. I love the guitar, the synths here. I think it's but a production is a good atmosphere. There's <sighs> such a good atmosphere, and the thing is, from a song titled "Toilet Tr- Tisha." That would be about think. some merch shit, but nah. Yeah, you wouldn't think, you know? It's about uh, a pregnant teenage girl, and I guess she dies over in, on an overdose yeah. or something. Gives her some random yeah. like, no, this is, ah, you know? Yeah. But I really like the song of The Sims, bro. So <laughs> good, bro. Damn, you got rabid. <laughs> you got rabid, bro. Bro, them, them Sims, it just, they just so powerful, you know? It was like, <laughs> ugh. Yeah, I I hear you though, and the thing is, it's such a it's such a good emotional story, and what I love is that they both build off of each other, and Big Boy, I think Big Boy's verse was amazing. The, the delivery was 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 great, um, and and it's it's really it's, it's honestly it got me sad, bro. When I don't finish up, I was like, damn, beautiful, yes. so great cut. Bing. 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 So yeah, now we only have two more tracks, three in total, one interlude coming up. Uh, so we have Slum Beautiful featuring CeeLo Green Slum Beautiful. and it's CeeLo, so and it's Outcast, so it's gonna be a very talented song, of course. Yes, um, so basically, the song's kind of about their mistresses. Uh, sonically, I think it's interesting, it's cool, it's dope, it's cool, yeah. And then Jay some says some, 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 some shit like you know, for us, worth girls, your frequency, and I can come there frequently. I'm like, Dre, Dre wants some cooch. Give me that cool. Oh, yeah. Give me that cool. But I thought I thought it was cool. Like I'll listen to it again. Let sure. me take you on this funky ride. My bad album. I miss funky ride. That shit was nice. I listen to it. Uh, na, 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 na. 
But yeah, I, I thought the song was dope. It was cool. You know, CeeLo on the vocals is dope. But uh, yeah. besides that, it was cool. Right. Yeah. And, um, right. So that was uh, Slum Beautiful. Track 23, little interlude, prenup. Basically, he's like, marry me. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, all right, sign prenup, prenuptial. And she's like, huh? Hello, what? What? And, hey, my people. Very smart move, by the way, if you're not sure. Um, track 14, Stank On You. Stank Love, in parentheses. Featuring. Uh, featuring Big Rube. Slip around. And Sleepy Brown. Uh, yeah, I'm about to get my dick But out. no big boy. Yeah. What? Whoa, what? <laughs> no big boy? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this show was fire. I love the intro. It's sexy, man. You gonna um, like when you hear what you said? We we already did. We don't got we don't gotta bring it back. That, that right, was 20 bro. seconds ago, bro. You can right, bro. pass. Um, but yeah, bro, the ballad on here, I th- it's a good ballad, man. I love the guitars on here. Sleepy Brown got me horny again. It's smooth. Um, and like, bro, when I first start, start, you know, started listening to Outcast, I had no idea I listened to, I would be, end up listening to all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, my friend. You know what I mean? It was, just, it was great experimentation, and sometimes it feels very primal. I just really like this song. You call them primal because they're nip. My fault. I can't say I, that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you said it before, but... Because they're nigger. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but no, I just love it. It's primal because it's, you know, you know that, it's, that, it's, that, it's that sweat, sl- slick body sexual. Uh, you know, I personally was not a big fan of this song. No big boy made me sad, though, yeah. Uh, I could have gone without this song, gonna be honest. Okay. Uh, it was, it was all right, I guess, but, like, I would I would prefer like a rock song or something similar to, to Gasoline Dreams at mm-hmm. the end of the album instead of this, you know? But it was yeah. it was cool, I guess. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that was our review of Stankonia. We are going to now, you know, rate them. Uh, Jalen, what's what you looking? What you looking? Uh, I love the production and the rock yes, influence sad. on this Experimenting. album. Uh, a couple of classics on this album is a different sound than what we're used to from yep. both Outkast and just rap in general at the time of its release, at least. Um, and I imagine that Kendrick's next album will pull inspiration from this album, at least production wise, because his next album is supposed to be like rock influenced, and this yep. album was heavily rock influenced. So, you know, I give it an 8.7. Uh, okay. we'll give it a 9. I don't, I feel like. I feel like these albums have more impact on first release than later on. Okay. Because, you know, like, say, like, did Dan win a Grammy? It did, right? I think so, yeah. I won a Grammy and got the, not the Pulitzer Prize. I think, no, it was the Pulitzer Prize. And I feel like that if later generations listen to Dan as an album, it won't have that same impact on them. Because when we listen to Dan, okay. like, oh, this is something different from rap. This motherfucker being, like, mad vulnerable, you know? Yeah. But it's so dope. You know, but if somebody later on listens to it, it's like, oh, this is cool. You know, they probably already heard that drum like two, three different times, you know? Right, right. And same thing with, what the fuck? I just had it in my head. Yeah, that bad. I don't know. But, yeah, I just feel like it would have a bigger impact on first listen, on first release. Uh, But, you know, I still think it's really dope album, though. Really dope. Really different. I agree with you. Uh, For me, since this is, honestly, this is, like, this sound. Is is like I love this right, sound, this right, funk all right, rock, all right, all right. and then having the conscious, you know, this conscious, you know, thoughts woven into it, and with all these interludes, a very, very smooth story. I love this album. So you know, different tastes between me and Jalen. I'm a re- I love you know a lot of electric guitar. Jalen's coming along with it, which which I which I like. Uh, but I honestly really love this genre. I give it nine point six, ah, seven. Okay, again. <laughs> again, bro. I just like. <laughs> I gotta tell you, like these songs, I I feel like I, I like I love the Erica Badu song. Um, I really love you know humble mumble, and it's just like I just feel like you know the highs on here, mm-hmm. and he, there's like the lows aren't that low for me because I just love the experimentation and I love the sound that you know where it's coming from. All right. So so I'd give it nine point six, nine point seven. Interesting. For me, this is very I'm um, very. Good ground with Aquemini. I don't know which one I like at all more. Still like Aquemini more. 
I hear you. I hear you. All right. 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 But yeah, I love these books. So yeah, y'all, that was our review of Outcast little middle portion of their careers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, Jalen, it was the outro, bro. You got it. Uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. He sounds like a bitch. Uh, <laughs> my fault, my nigga. Uh, yo, make sure, <laughs> <laughs> make sure y'all niggas like, comment, uh, subscribe. You know, share the video with your friends. Yeah, that voice. <laughs> this this isn't a request. This is a. I'm telling you to do that. Um, but yeah, you know, check us out on all different platforms. Follow us on Twitter. Yeah. I don't know this nigga Twitter handle, but mine is uh, my trash opinions. <laughs> uh, this nigga is like secret soul, soul secret Kev, something like yeah, that. Yeah, soul secret Kev. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but you know, follow us on Twitter. Uh, you know, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Next episode is gonna be long as shit, bro. Speaker box and love below. <laughs> two, uh, two hours. Two albums, bro. Hey, we're basically recovering yep. three albums, but yeah. yeah, it's gonna be long as fuck. Stick with us, y'all. Stick with us. So, hey, everyone. Hey, have a good yeah. one. Oh, oh, and we out. While he's trying. Hey, <laughs>